This is Eyewitness News, Health Beat. It's not exactly the birthday that a Brownsburg couple had dreamed of for their daughter, but to save her sight and maybe even more, they told me they've learned to adjust. It's time to wake up. Happy birthday. It is Lindley's big day, but there's no sleeping in at the Robinson home in Brownsburg. Five days a week we're up doing this. Up by five, out the door before six. Their destination is the IU Proton Therapy Center in Bloomington. Anna, are we going with the same side? We drive down here every morning. It's over an hour drive. We're on day 19, I believe, of 30 days. Good job. We generally do cases that other people in the country won't touch. Lindley has a walnut-sized benign brain tumor called a craniopharyngioma. It's one of those kinds of things you'd never want. It's hugging the gland, which regulates vital hormones and threatens her vision. And it becomes annoying to children because it, it keeps coming back. But proton bean therapy coupled with surgery has a 93% 8 to 10 year control rate. This is sort of like the Ferrari of radiation therapy. The key is making sure the beam hits and stops precisely at the targeted area and doing that treatment after treatment. Let's do a rotation of a negative 1.5. All the while, Lindley has to stay very, very still. I'm thinking about not moving. She usually does really well. The chirping that you're about to hear is the radiation actually being delivered. She's just a special little girl. Never had a complaint. Never complained about anything, even after surgery. You know, never, never questioned why. Happy birthday to you. Lindley is now seven, and amid all this special care, has a common request for what comes next. I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, she wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Okay, we're all done for today. We'll be back tomorrow. I think she's going to have a lot of birthdays to come. They're back at it today. It's interesting that there are just 14 of these proton therapy centers all across the country, and the family says given that, they consider their commute to treatment in Bloomington no big deal.